Frequently, businesses and individuals who have borrowed money for a specified length of time find that they want to save some interest by making one or more partial payments on the loan before the maturity date. The most commonly used method for this calculation is known as the U.S. Rule. The rule states that when a partial payment is made on a loan, the payment is first used to pay off the accumulated interest to the date and the balance is used to reduce the principal. In this application, the ordinary interest method, 360 days, will be used for all calculations. Here are the steps for calculating loans with partial payments. Step 1. Using the simple interest formula with ordinary interest, compute the amount of interest due from the date of the loan to the date of the partial payment. Step 2. Subtract the interest from Step 1 from the partial payment. This pays the interest to date. Step 3. Subtract the balance of the partial payment after Step 2 from the original principal of the loan. This gives the adjusted principal. Step 4. If another partial payment is made, repeat Steps 1, 2, and 3 using the adjusted principal and the number of days since the last partial payment. Step 5. The maturity value is computed by adding the interest since the last partial payment to the adjusted principal. Remember, to use ordinary interest, or 360 days, for all calculations involving partial payments. To help you visualize the details of a loan with a partial payment, construct a timeline such as the one illustrated here to include the loan date, the partial payments, the durations between each, and the maturity date. Here's an example. Ray Windsor borrowed $10,000 at 9% interest for 120 days. On day 30, Ray made a partial payment of $2,000. On day 70, he made a second partial payment of $3,000. What's the maturity value of the loan after the partial payments? Step 1. Compute the interest from the date of the loan to the partial payment. In this problem, the first partial payment was made on day 30, so I equals 10,000 times 0 .09 times 30 over 360 equals 75. Step 2. Subtract the interest from the partial payment. 2,000 minus 75 equals $1,925. Step 3. Reduce the principal. 10,000 minus $1,925 equals $8,075. A second partial payment of $3,000 was made on day 70. We now repeat steps 1, 2, and 3 to credit the second partial payment properly. Remember, use the adjusted principal and 40 days, 70 minus 30 equals 40, for this calculation. So I equals $8,075 times 0 .09 times 40 over 360, which is $80.75 of interest. So $3,000 minus $80.75 equals $2,919.25. Finally, $8,075 minus the $2,919.25 equals $5,155.75 in adjusted principal. Once all partial payments have been calculated, we find the maturity value of the loan by calculating the interest due from the last partial payment to the maturity date by adding it to the last adjusted principal. Note, the last partial payment was made on day 70 of the loan. Therefore, 50 days remain on the loan. 120 minus 70 equals 50 days. So I equals $5,155.75 times 0 .09 times 50 over 360 to equal interest of $64.45. Step 5 is then continued to add the interest since the last partial payment to the adjusted principal. So our maturity value is $5,155.75 plus $64.45 to equal a total of $5,220.20.